It's Christmas time in the traveling community. Caravans are being decorated and presents are being eagerly wrapped. But for one traveler bride, this Christmas will be even more special than most. 22-year-old Barbara is preparing for the most magical day of her life, her Christmas-themed wedding day. I love Christmas. Christmas is really important. But weddings are too. Irish traveller Barbara is due to marry Labourer Patrick in just two weeks' time. Why do you love him? I don't know. I just, I just do. Because he loves me. I face like a model. He knows he's getting a good thing. He knows it. Sure, Matt Stammer. Who wouldn't love a face like that? <laughs> Although Christmas is just around the corner, Barbara's fiance has already showered her with gifts in the lead up to the wedding. This is um, scrappy. My boyfriend got him for me. He was trying to brainwash me into marrying him, and it worked. So will the cat live with you in your married home? No. I don't really like cats at all. <laughs> wonder, can you eat cat? With Christmas looming, Barbara is determined that her special day will be the most spectacular festive wedding ever seen. And today, Barbara is ordering her wedding cake accompanied by her closest confidants. Josephine, Mary Lou, Kathleen, Kathleen Margaret. and Margaret. <laughs> All my cousins. Like it's a Christmas okay. theme. Christmas like theme. Cream and, yeah. Okay, that, yeah, that's good to know. But it's all like colours and cream and gold and ivory. Unlike many traveller girls who marry as soon as they are legally able, Barbara has waited until the grand age of 22. But her advancing years have afforded Barbara plenty of time to dream up ideas for her big day. I want it to be from the floor to be about to there, big and then going up and up and up and up. Okay. And a bow at the top from just falling down. I want all lights on the table and I want you to put net over it. I wanted my centerpieces to be, um, you know, martini glasses. If you had done sparkle before for somebody else, I want you to do twice as twice much. Twice as much. A hundred times as much as I wanted yeah. them. If you put a full can on there, I want you to put 50 cans on mine. So, basically, the conclusion in, in what I'm getting is the bigger, the glitzier, the yeah. sparklier, the better. Yeah. And if anything does go wrong, that's my problem, not your problem. Yeah. So and it will be it will be definitely your problem. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you don't, I know where you live. <laughs> Let's see you, everybody. Bye bye. I think it's going to be it's extremely challenging, especially given the time scale. She just had one idea in her head, and the next six would pop into her head, and she she's almost like she had to gush it out before she forgot it again with the cake, well, it's going to be a monster. Across the land in the travelling community, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Lights are going up, Christmas trees are being adorned with the requisite sparkle. And in Great Yarmouth, 22-year-old bride-to-be Barbara is planning the most magical festive event of all, her spectacular Christmas-inspired wedding day. We went to a Christmassy themed, like wintery wedding. Do you know a snow machine? It's like when you first dance, instead of like the confetti falling down, they blow that up in your, oh, in your face like, and all. Nice, and it's different, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Today, Barbara is having a hair trial at a local salon. Right, so do you want the kick whiff coming down here, or do you literally just want it this bit here? Or a little bit. I no, I want a like, big one from there. Yeah, from like, to there. Yeah. The 23rd, the wedding is, yeah? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah? Yeah. Are you nervous? Yeah. Yeah. But despite the hairdresser's best efforts, after almost two hours, the girls are less than impressed. What do you think so far, girls? I 
How's that? Grand. Is it Grand. Grand. Yeah. Yeah? Oh, I'm blue alive at Cal. I really hope she's happy with what I've done. She seemed really happy with what I've done, so fingers crossed. She doesn't change her mind at the last minute and wants something different, because I've had that before. I don't like it. It's too flat. I think she's getting sacked after that. Worn down and weary from the trials of the hair salon, the travellers refuel en route to their next wedding appointment. We didn't have time to stop and get food, so... And he didn't give us any fork, so we knocked a fork. <laughs> Barbara, you're supposed to be eating my lady, like, look at the food! <laughs> Mary Lou, you're on camera, Mary Lou. <laughs> Are you serious? Traveller girls across the land dream of creating the ultimate wedding gown for their big day. Hello. Hello. Barbara has spent months hunting down the perfect gown. All excited? Can yeah. I see your dress? <laughs> and her closest companions, cousins Mary Lou and Josephine, are about to see her in it for the first time. Barbara's picked it. She has got really if good It's really style. nice, you know, because I cry and everything. Yeah. <laughs> I tend to get emotional. You ready? Can we look? Can I open my eyes? <laughs> Oh, Mummy's life that really is lovely. <laughs> that really is lovely. Oh, God. <laughs> How do you feel in it? Like a princess. That's, that's lovely. Smile. I want to see them. Beautiful of the dress. Your hair looks very scotchy looking, don't it? Back in Great Yarmouth, the unusually fine weather has reminded bride-to-be Barbara to put in her final wedding order for a snow machine. You give me an old discount as well, wouldn't you? Thank you. Bye bye. It's all sorted. I might even get the real white wedding, you never know yet. It's cold enough to snow. Can I choose big ones, small ones, different colour ones and then a crystal one? I want you to mix them all together, yeah? Mm -hmm. Mix them. With just over 24 hours to go till her big day, Barbara is determined to host the most spectacular Christmas wedding ever seen. I love everything about Christmas. Christmas songs, <laughs> late night shopping, Hot chocolate. I love all Christmassy things. Likes presents. Big ones. Can't wait. I really can't wait. It's the night before Barbara's Christmassy white wedding. Nothing is left to chance. And having checked into a local hotel, Barbara is awaiting her bridesmaids in order to try on their dresses for the final time. Tomorrow now, all the, everyone, all these dresses will be filled. There'll be people in them. Their hair will be all done. Can't even picture it. Where are you now? Hurry up and take your time, yeah? But of nine bridesmaids, not one is present. I have a load of dresses, no bridesmaids to go into them. One of my bridesmaids, her car is broken down. I've got a load of bridesmaids, it's all over the country and they're good for nothing. Useless bastards. Tomorrow's the wedding. And um, still got a load of things to do. The priest said, you give me a warning, make sure and be on time. So I'm gonna have to, have to be on time tomorrow. In Great Yarmouth, it's the morning of Barbara's extravagant Christmas-themed white wedding. Due to wed in under four hours' time, the pyjama-clad bride-to-be arrives at her hair appointment, but disaster strikes. Hairdresser's not here today due to something pavement. I was expecting to get my hair done, get dressed and get married, <laughs> but uh, the hairdresser had different plans for herself today. Fucking Egypt. 
With the clock ticking, a family bereavement is accountable for her hairdresser's absence. Well, my hairdresser, she, she left a note on the door saying something about pavement, something, so she cancelled on me. Oh, I'm fed up my life. Smelly, shitty woman. Barbara returns cap in hand to the salon of her original unsuccessful hair trial. Good morning. But although the salon kindly agrees to save the day at the 11th hour, a third backup hairdresser has been found. All right, listen, send all the bridesmaids over here. No, no, listen, no, listen. Send all the bridesmaids over here right now and she can do my hair. The salon is deemed good enough for her bridesmaids, but not for Barbara. Yeah, I'm going to go back there. Hello. Hey, Ken, see ya. Mayhem. Absolute mayhem. I don't like that woman at all. I don't like the look of her. She's a very nice woman, though. I will get it done, but remember Father David said be on time? When he looks back at this, he'll realise why I wasn't on time. This way, Colleen, huh? Now two hours behind schedule, Barbara returns to the hotel where her family are getting ready. You need to do my hair, please, before you do hers, because I'm more important than her. Are you the bride? Yeah. Have you got your hairdresser? No, because the hairdresser cancelled on me. Have you got a picture or anything that we can work with? Because obviously I've not done a trial on your hair, but I mean, yeah. I'll do what I can for yeah. you. Pull the hairpiece through there. Yeah. And I want you to bubble curl all the way around. And then you want this in there as... Oh, wow. <sighs> this is not what I expected. It's the day of Barbara's Christmas-themed winter wedding. And with less than 30 minutes until I do, the bride is still in her pyjamas. Everyone, get out of this room now. All right, sit down now. Put your tights on. It's too to me. Right, can someone pass me the veil then, please? While the girls accessorise, the boys secure their essential wedding items. Thank you. What do you need a gun for a wedding for? Shoot people. All I need to do is put in the bullets and then it goes pew, pew, pew. With just moments before Barbara is due at the altar. Where's the hairdresser lady? Can you, can you do my fringe? The bride orders a last minute haircut. Hey, drastic measures. Yeah. I believe I'm cutting hairs on the fresh Adorned in their festive gold and glittery dresses, the nine bridesmaids make their way to the awaiting limos. Ah, we're waiting to see the bride. It must be something really special. special. Are you ready to become a wife? Ready as I'll ever be. It's a pleasure to stand here and watch. For a single traveller girl becoming a wife, life is about to change beyond all recognition. It's an emotional moment for Barbara. We begin our service this wonderful wedding, as we say together, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. How's married life, Father? It's cold. With Patrick and Barbara now man and wife, the wedding party make their way to the reception. Can you pull into this garage, mate? Yeah, sure, sure, you open the door, please. Oh. Boop, boop, I get a pitch, no, you won't. My greed to come in here for knock you out. And while the groom and the bride's father buy refreshments, the chauffeur spots an escapee. There's a young girl, just about one of the bridesmaids has just run in there. Yeah. Oh, 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 here we go. Okay. For the guests at the reception, Christmas has come early. Everything's gold in this wedding. Everyone dressed up gold and boys. Yeah, the red is very Christmassy.
Barbara receives an early Christmas present, her two-metre-tall, nine-tier wedding cake. Outstanding. She's really done a brilliant job, very, very good job. And the final festive touch of her Christmas-themed wedding is Barbara's pièce de résistance, her snow machine for the first dance. But snowflakes fail to materialise. The snow machine, did it, did it even come on? I didn't even feel it like snow machine. There was a snow machine there, but it, it didn't even feel like it come on. It wasn't a very good snow machine. It was a sh crap snow machine, to be honest with you. But although her first dance never quite transforms into the winter wonderland Barbara had envisaged, her wedding is nevertheless a festive triumph. I'm really happy with everything. My dress, down to my cake, the place, food, everything. I'm just happy with everything. Oh.